Oh, I'm cock a hoop. <laughs> oh, you know, I've been, I've been looking forward to this for so long. Well, two days. And um, <laughs> actually, I didn't think I'd be able to make it because, you see, you know, not having an R in the month. You see, I, you know, you see, I suffer. Well, there is an R in the month, but, you know, I suffer. You know, there's an R in the month because, you see, you know, I, you don't have me arthritis. I thought, well, I shan't be able to make it. I really, I was terrified, because last week I had it all down this side. <laughs> I couldn't get the beef tea to my lips. Now, this week... <laughs> this week I've got it all down this side. Can't wait for next week, can I? <laughs> but, actually, there's, uh, Slack Alice is very upset, because she wanted to be my girl on the programme, but, of course, you can't have her out here in a balaclava and ankle socks. <laughs> Everard's... He doesn't mind at all. He sent me a telegram, saying he's glad that I'm on the game at last. <laughs> And, uh, but of course, uh, I know you waited to meet my girl Friday, a lovely girl from up there over the border, from the Highlands, my lovely Isla Sinclair. <laughs> she lovely? Yeah. Oh, I wish I, I wish I was a bit younger. But anyway, <coughs> well, she, actually, she calls me father well, back there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, are you pleased to be here? Uh, you, know, yeah. with... you know, what What did you say about being here? Please? Well, I said I was cock a -hoo. Well, I'm exactly the same in Scottish, and that's sort of fair delighted. You're fair delighted? Uh, yeah. She seems like a nice girl, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to meet uh, the first victims, so an ovation for the generation, right? <laughs> How are you? Nice Hello, nice to meet you. Now, let me see. Now, who are they? Harry, our first contestants are Mrs. Jean Legg, mother-in-law, yeah. from Nottingham, and her son-in-law, Michael Legg, and they're both, he's from Nottingham too. Oh, yes. Uh, they, oh, this is your Shakespeare. Shakespeare. He's Michael Shakespeare. <laughs> oh, you live in Nottingham? Yes. Oh, you've left Stratford then. Yeah. Well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now, then, Mrs. Jean Legg, that's an unusual name, is it? Yeah. Uh, you know, Mrs. Legg. Are we standing close enough? Oh, yeah, of course you're standing close enough. <laughs> Isn't she sweet? <laughs> is she good mother? Yes. Don't yes. titter. You never titter on the programme. He seems like a nice boy. Now, um, <laughs> now please. Now, now, you know what I, I, I said before? I said to him, I said, now, when we're there, get close to me. I don't mean that close. <laughs> now, Mrs. Lett, I could have called you Jean. Can be. All right, yeah. my darling. Now, Jean, I see that you're a market trader. Yeah. And you've been standing market uh, with your husband, Doug Legg, for over 25 years. True. Really? Mm. What do you mean, standing market? You know, what, what, what do you mean? You mean on a market store? Oh, yes, yes. Really? So, and what do you sell? Um, fabric. Oh, fabrics? Mm. Curtain mm. material and all yes, that? Yes, oh, yes, yeah. Yes. Do you sell wool and... Yes. Do you sell wool? Because Do you? Because mm. I'm very fond of knitting, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't laugh, because it's true. No. <laughs> I mean, I've got some marvellous patterns. Noel Gordon sends them to me. Now, <laughs> now I know, I remember, I was, remember years ago, my hair wants washing. I remember years ago. <laughs> don't stare, it's very rude. No. <laughs> you must always wear blue, it suits you. Now, <laughs> live without you. <laughs> never, I, uh, let me see now, now. It says here, it says here that, uh, uh, that you, you uh, you've had adventurous holidays and you've been as far afield as Ilfracu. <laughs> <laughs> Were you vaccinated to go there? <laughs> Well, no, uh, but no, Ilfracu is a lovely place. I love Ilfracu. Yeah, yes, uh, nice. yes, and I see also that you've been to Spain. Oh, yeah. oh you've really lived. <laughs> yeah. This is your mother-in-law, isn't yes. it? <laughs> yes. You're getting too far away. Come here. Sorry. <laughs> they it says it. Hey, hey. She keeps knocking me all the time. <laughs> the, uh, it says... Uh, <laughs> While you were there, no, 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 just, no, don't listen. This is very difficult for me. Of course, I haven't got my surgical stocking on. The I mean, in the rush, I completely forgot all about it. Aren't you? Come back. No. Uh, yeah, uh, she's just told me I'm off my mark. <laughs> it is my first night. You know. <laughs> I think she's had a drink. <laughs> <laughs> eh? You are. Listen, now we'll turn to you. 
Uh, you can, you know, you go that way. <laughs> I've never worked with such a common lot in my life. <laughs> Well, the lot or anybody's for a donut. <laughs> now, you are Michael Shakespeare. Yes, sir. It said, you are a be you, you bearded collie dog called Bill. No, no, you have a bearded. <laughs> you have a bearded collie dog called Bilbo. And you are known to your friend as Shakes. That's an unusual thing, isn't it? Shakes. Mind you, they call Slack Alice Shakes, you know. Because <laughs> she shakes like this when she'd been on the gin at the cock and trumpet all. <laughs> so it said here that you're a war you play water polo for, a, for a, a Midland League. What's that then? In the Midland League. In the Midland yes. League. I see. For a team in Nottingham. For a team in Nottingham. And what do you do exactly? Yeah, I mean, what, what do you Not do? Not a lot. No, I, well, I know. <laughs> We'll talk about that after, but I mean, I mean... <laughs> no, what I mean... No, no, no. Sorry. No, 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 no. No, no, no I mean, because um, I, I'm, I, I'm fond of water sports. I like water sports. I mean, I used to go down on the beach, often with Everard, and we used to throw a ball about. I play, what's that game called? Uh, Kia... What's it called? Quoits. Quoits, yeah. that's it. I could never think of that name. Quoits. I used to play that. You know, throw them in the water and everything. <laughs> <laughs> we got a Coast Guard once. <laughs> <laughs> it's still right. <laughs> <laughs> now, could we have the next two contestants? Hello. Hello. You're all right. No, don't look up over here. No, don't go. Very good. Now, Hi. yes. This is Mrs. Eileen Macaulay and her son John Macaulay from Burnley in Lancashire. Oh, how nice. Very nice to meet you, darling. How nice you look. Hello. Now, Hello. let me see. Now, let me see. Now, uh, you were. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, now, you have you have four children. You have four and, and two. You have twins. Yes. Of course, Everard was a twin, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but his other brother would never go out with him. And, uh, <laughs> I believe, I believe, I shan't tell you again over there. I, I, I think you had, a, you had a nasty experience when you, once, uh, uh, Eileen, when you ran into a man and, uh, and you broke your nose. Yes. You had it in splints. For, how, how long did you have it in splints? Three weeks. Did you? How long has this been? Oh, it was during the war. During the war? Blackout. In the blackout? <laughs> well, if I told you what happened to me in the blackout, you'd never believe it. <laughs> Started the war. Now, um, <laughs> was your nose like that shape before you had it done? Stop laughing. <laughs> I'm asking you a serious question. <laughs> Don't keep staring. <laughs> During the war, you were a private in the ATS, attached to an all male section of the Royal Army Pay Corps. Well, you've got nothing to grumble about, have you? <laughs> yes. Now let's turn to you, uh, to, to, to you, La oh, Larry. No, John. John? <laughs> I've got the wrong card. No, no. <laughs> no, don't. No, don't. No, they'll cut it. No, <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> what a gay day. No, it's... no, it said here. Now, uh, jo uh, John. 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 Yeah. John, it said here that. Uh, in, your, in the, uh, the John lives in, uh, lives in the house next door, but one to your mother. Yes. Oh, you do. You're married, are you? No. You're not. Well, why do you live in the house next door, but one? That the house gave sale, so I bought it. <laughs> oh, did you? Very wise too. And you, 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 you live there. I live there, yes. By yourself. Yes. Oh. I go to my mother's once a day for a meal. You go to your mother's once a day for a meal. <laughs> he doesn't look like a quiet boy, does he? <laughs> Do you have any parties out there or anything, you, you know? Oh, yes. With all your friends? Yeah. Yes. Well, don't forget to ask me. And, uh, <laughs> and Sidney, you once had a nurse do a parachute jump. So you did. Is that right? Yes. Are you fine? Oh, I don't Just know. Just one. I, 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 have you been up there and jumped out? Yes. I should die. I can't. <laughs> I got a nosebleed on a lift. I can't. <laughs> 
And, and I mean, do you want to do it again? No, I don't think so. No, I think you're very wise. All right then. Well, now I think we'll uh, we'll do the first game, right? So over you go, over here. There we are. Are they lovely? I'd like you to meet, ladies and gentlemen, the London Maori Club. <laughs> Absolutely splendid. Thank you. Now, uh, I, um, I know that you just don't swing the poise about just for the, uh, the sake of swinging them, you know. There's a reason, isn't there? Yes, it tells a story. These are them? That's are they? right. Well, okay. Okay. Hey. But listen, they have shorter ones there. Why have I got such a long one? Because they... <laughs> <laughs> the short poise are much harder to use than the long poise. Long poise is a bit easier to work. The, oh, are they, are they, now, I should have thought, now, honestly, I would have thought that was, it'd have been the other way around. I thought the short poise would have been easier than the long ones. It just goes to show you live and learn. True. Right, so will you, uh, will you come back later and do the marking for us? OK? OK, now, uh, over here. That's right, there you are. Over there. Right, that's it. There. Are we all going in together? Oh, no, you're taking them to my restaurant. Now, go in there, and you can have a drink in my lounge, <laughs> some biscuits, <laughs> and, a big, and a big picture of John Hansen. Now, <laughs> now, I'm going to do this as well. So, well, all right, Ronnie, when you're ready. Me to know the story I was telling with these. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bait, Goodry. OK, over you go. Over here. Go sit down. I'll have the, I'll have the two back. OK, you come over here. Over there, John. You weren't very good, you know. Uh, pardon? You weren't very good. Oh, dear. Uh, just a minute. Just a minute, Agis Alice. Come back here. <laughs> oh, so you think you can do better, do you? Yes. Well, you can have a go at it, then. <laughs> so, come over here. 
OK, OK, John. Now, mind your eyebrows. Now, right then. OK, here we go. I've never seen such a poise up in all my life. Over here. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Okay. Now let's look at the school. Uh, where, Heather. Where the Heather? Over here, darling. Now, Heather, what do you think about that? I'm now. still recovering. Oh, well, she's still recovering. <laughs> so am I. Okay. Now, first of all, there, there's uh, Jean and Michael. Yes, I think they all made a very good effort. Did so you? did you, actually. Oh, thank it was you. Really Heather. good. Thank you. Heather. Yes. Um, I think Jean and Michael. Um, three for Michael and three for Jean. Three for Michael. Three for Jean. Yes. And for Eileen and John? They did very well. I thought John was particularly good. Well, I for thought the first so. Night, I thought first so. try. Four for John four and three for Eileen. Lovely. OK. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And thank you. Thank you, Heather, and all your lovely people for coming on tonight. We've really thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been lovely. Give us a kiss. Oh, Bye, love. <laughs> uh, here you go. Bye. <laughs> Now the scoreboard, the scoreboard is uh, Jean and Michael six and Eileen and John seven. Now in this behind us we have negatives. You see, now the, the, the negative of, of famous celebrities. And what I want you to do is to write underneath who you think that these people are. So 30 seconds starting now. <laughs> Okay, okay, all right, 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 there we are, over here. Send right here, Michael. Now then, Isla, what have you got for number one? For number one, we've got Jimmy Carter. Pardon? Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter for number yes. one. For number one, we've, you're going to love this, you're going to love this. For, for number one, we've got Cary Grant. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> I shall phone him right after the show. Now, number, number two. What do you have for number two? Uh, for number two, we've got Millicent Martin. Millicent Martin. Yep. For number two, we're, number two, we we've got Diana Dawes. Right. Now, for number, for number three, what, what have you for number three? Uh, for number three, we've got Kojak. Well, for number three. We've got Telly Savalas. So we were quite close as well. Yeah, so therefore it's two to, to um, Jean and Michael. And we deserve at least half. And it's one. Yeah. It's one for you, for, okay. uh, for Michael, uh, for uh, Eileen and John. Now, for number, um, where are we? Number four. For number four, we've got Ronnie Barker. 
And for number four, we've got Ronnie Barker, okay? Oh, right. Yeah, right. Five. <laughs> number five, num number five. For number five, we've got Margaret Thatcher. For number five, we've got Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. And no opposition. Five, pardon? No opposition. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I should speak after. <laughs> And for number six, she's lovely. For, for number, number six, six oh, we, yes, what have you got? For number six, what have we got? I'm sorry, I can't make it. No, it wasn't. It's not anything. It starts off E.D. It's going to be Edward Heath. No. Edward it's Heath. going to be Edward Heath. Yeah. Ah, well, we've got Robert Morley, and in fact, you've got to go mad. But we've got Dennis Healy. <laughs> <laughs> OK, <laughs> right, OK, down here. Now then, let's have a look what we've got here. Gene and Michael 12, Eileen and John 12, which means it's a tiebreaker. So, wouldn't you know it did happen to me on my first show? It doesn't matter though. Now, let me just say, I've got it all here. <laughs> <laughs> now, in which city is the Golden Gate Bridge? San Francisco. <laughs> now, I think that time, I must be fair. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I really know, it's so gosh. close, but there you are. I'm, 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 uh, I've got a lovely goblet for you and a lovely tankard, so you can drink away your sorrows. Yes, absolutely. No, no, it's lovely. So now, will you... Uh, it, lovely. It's been, been lovely uh, seeing you and everything. And... Bye. 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 Hello. How are you? Larry, well. this is Michael Puisset and his daughter, Debbie Puisset, from Farnborough and Hans. What's an unusual name? She didn't say it right. Oh. Well, you say it then. Pusey. Pusey? What does she say? Pusey. Pusey. <laughs> well, I've never heard it before, you know. Mm -hmm. No, it's a very... Is it, well, is it, 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 it's not an English name, is it? Oh, yes. Is very it? English, yes. Well, I've never heard of it, honestly. I haven't, and I've travelled. I've been around, you know. Not half. Well, anyway. <laughs> It said it. Now, wait a minute. Where are we? Michael is a... You're a Baptist minister. That's right. I am. Well, you never believed with all this hair. No. <laughs> so, isn't he with it, though? <laughs> oh, you are. And let me see now. Uh, and you're, you're, you're not... You are not a practical man. And one, oh, this is lovely. You're not a practical man, it says there. One day you laid a carpet. You elected to shave... You, you laid a carpet and you elected to shave a quarter of an inch off the bottom of the bathroom door. Is this right, Debbie? Yeah, but you think you overdid it because now, when you come up the stairs, even with the door closed, you can still see straight into the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Well, you know, you've got to do it, haven't you? Now, now, this is your daughter, Debbie, and you want to be a nurse. Yeah. How old are you, Debbie? Seventeen. You're seventeen. I must say your father looks very young. Doesn't it? Doesn't that father look young? Yeah. I thought that, actually, I, I, when I saw you sitting over there, I thought it was brother and sister. And, um, <laughs> and it says that one summer day, on a, no, one summer on a very hot day when you've been playing cricket, you were resting on the grass and uh, put your jumper over at the cricket stump. So that would have been nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. And a little dog came along and thought it was a tree. Oh, how awful. <laughs> <laughs> how awful for you. What did you put over the cricket stumps? What was it? A jumper. A jumper. It's gone now, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope it has. <laughs> sit over here and we'll meet the next uh, contestants. So stand there. There you are. No, don't go too close to me. Hello. How are you? Now, who are these? This is Mr. Lawrence Lee Reed. Sorry. <laughs> and his daughter, Mrs. Maureen Grosso. Oh, I say hello, Maureen. How are you? Hello. How are you? Father and daughter. I see. And where do you come from? Oh, I see. You come from. Ah, this is most interesting. You come from Watford. Yes. Yes. Well, of course, I've never been abroad. <laughs> <laughs> and it says you live a few. Uh, you live a few yards from Watford. Watford football ground. Well, yes. that should be good. Oh, very good. Well, 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 right. Oh, that, well, what's Watford for? Oh, of course, Elton John. Elton John. Because he goes there, doesn't he? he does, Can you yeah. get me his autograph? Yeah. I'll try. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> So when, you, when you were small, you used to have masses of curly hair. What happened? <laughs> it was still there. <laughs> well, it had me fooled. <laughs> I said, wouldn't it be marvellous in The King and I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely. And it said, before you got married, you were so conscious of, of a large gap in your teeth. Yeah. You had a large gap in your teeth and that a dentist built a false tooth in the middle and now you have three front teeth. <laughs> Well, aren't you the lucky one? <laughs> Seems like a nice man. <laughs> now, this is your daughter. Uh, oh, this is... Now, Maureen, you married... Uh, you're married to an Italian. 
Yes. And how long have you been married? Six years. Have you? Oh, you don't look at all. Six years. You must have been married very young then. And it said, uh, you met him in a brush factory. <laughs> it's mad, I need a new lavatory brush. I don't know. <laughs> in this brush factory, you met your husband because he worked at the same factory, and I think you had trouble because your bristles kept falling out. <laughs> <laughs> You're too soft, she says. <laughs> and where did they fall to? So did he come over to you and he said to you, he said, uh, no, you said to him, my bristles keep falling out. I said to him that I was having trouble with my soft bristles. <laughs> Would he help me out, she said. <laughs> so what did he do? Put your bristles back? He put me onto the hard ones. <laughs> I suppose I could go on from there, but I'm not. <laughs> and then, anyway, now this is very interesting, and I want to want to know about this. It said you've been trying to straighten your hair, and to do it, and to do it, you place it on an ironing board and iron it. <laughs> I must tell Slack Alice she'll be thrilled. <laughs> they have to line it myself for her <laughs> with a red hot iron. Well, <laughs> but your main ambition is to put on a little weight, but you can't because you. You eat like a horse. Do you, honestly? Yeah. Well, I've only got to look at a cake and I'm out here. <laughs> <laughs> a little strange. Anyway, lovely to talk to you. And now we'll come to the, the first game. Okay. We have famous celebrities behind the screen. And these celebrities are also portraying famous characters in history. Now, what you have to do, you have to write down the character they're portraying and the famous personality. Right? So over now to your lecterns. Over you. There we are. There we are, my love. Right? There we are. Right? Can we have the screen away? All right, Ronnie. Here we go. That's it. Let's see what we've, uh, what we've got here. No, first of all, Isla, the character and the personality. Right, well, we've done quite well. We haven't Number quite one. finished them all. Number one, we've got Florence Nightingale and the person portraying Florence Nightingale, Nancy. Pardon? <laughs> Nancy! <laughs> well, we've got here Florence Nightingale and, of course, also they've got the right answer, lovely Pat Coons. <laughs> You can light my lamp any time you want to. <laughs> Lovely. Now, who you got for number two, Isla? Number two, Larry, we've got Henry VIII. Yes. And playing Henry VIII, we've got Arthur Mullard, I think. <laughs> and we, we two have Henry VIII and Arthur Mullard too. Hello, Arthur. How are you? <laughs> I couldn't catch Jack the Ripper. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, I've been I'm standing there looking at your legs, and you'd make a marvellous principal boy. It's my legs that gave me away. That's right. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Arthur Mallard. <laughs> Lovely. Island number three. Number three, we have Napoleon. And, um, <laughs> portraying Napoleon, we have Radio Man DJ. <laughs> Listen, we have, we have Nelson, but we've got Pete Murray. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, uh, enjoy it. Lovely. Just call me, uh, <laughs> would you want to say something? I was just going to say, they're both wrong because it's the Duke of Wellington. <laughs> see, I thought it was the Duke of York who trips their men up that hill and down again. But I, I was wrong, it's the Duke of Wellington. We must stop holding hands I like know. this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely Pete Murray. Everybody Lovely. 
Now then, and now number four, Isla. Uh, number four, we've got Hunchback. <laughs> and we've got nobody playing the Hunchback. He's going to love this. We've got Hunchback of Notre Dame, played by, you're never going to believe it, Lon Chaney. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. A hug, a hug. <laughs> right, keep a hug. Oh, dear, 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 Arthur. Who you got up the back of there? Ronnie Corbett. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good take off. It anyway. was. Arthur was lovely. I loved to I see you. I you, didn't I? You did. I Arthur Askin, didn't you? Oh, dear, dear, dear. Lon Chaney's been dead years. <laughs> He's been dead years. Oh, you did that? No, oh, you did. Oh, you did. Oh, yes. Now then, number, who you got for number five? Number five, we've got Jezebel. <laughs> and playing Jezebel, we've got Doris. <laughs> well, we've got, and of course it's right, we've got Cleopatra, and of course they, my, Two have got it right as well. Lovely Barbara wins. My sweetheart. Lovely. All right, that fabulous. I don't know. What gave me away? Uh, <laughs> I tell you one thing, Dad. You'll never, you'll never get an asp down there. <laughs> ah, Barbara wins, ladies and gentlemen. Lovely. Ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank these lovely stars and great friends of mine. Aren't they all lovely? I love you. Here we are. Now then, let's look at the scoreboard. Now, what have we there? We have Michael Pusey and Debbie Pusey, seven. Lawrence Reed and Maureen Grosso, 40. <laughs> over there, okay, over there. Okay, over. Sit down, it's where, where you were before. Positions, please. <laughs> know your position. I should never get over you with Lon Chani as long as I live. <laughs> We've been dead years. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, this is game number four. Now I want you to look at these lovely, these lovely flat, these lovely arrangements here, and these faces, these faces, these pictures here. They're all made of dried flowers. They're made of leaves and uh, uh, little flowers. They're all pressed, like you see in library books. You know, I pressed uh, one of these in a library book once, many years ago, and the librarian charged me fortunes for it, but there we are. <laughs> so, uh, I'd like, if you'd like to come over here with me, I will meet the lovely lady that does all this sort of thing, Jenny Kenner. Hello, Jenny. <laughs> all right, thank you. Can you come down here? Thank you. Thank you. Now, that's absolutely lovely, uh, Jenny. Uh, is, that, uh, is that lovely, the way she does all those lovely pictures? <laughs> now, she does them with all these flowers. How lovely yes. these leaves? And they're, they're just dried leaves, yes, aren't they, Jenny? Yes, I find them and press them. Well, I want to... a week. <laughs> uh, and how long did it take you to do all well, this? Well, to take to do one like that takes quite a long time. Well, now, um, could you could you do um, a, a face okay. for us? Could you <laughs> just get that? And watch very closely, because you're going to do this in a minute. Come over here, Flash. Now, <laughs> uh, and... Uh, right. OK, so where you go. I think it's most interesting. I think those pictures are absolutely lovely. Oh. Right there. I'll put some hair on. This is yeah. um, evergreen stuff. Isn't Can you see it? all right there, Tabby? And this right? makes lovely hair. Lawrence. Now, the shapes. Michael. And this uh, Michael's chin. These are made of little twigs. I pieces see. of bracken, grass. Now, some lips. That's a little tulip petal. Now, it's it's ivy incredible. for a nose, I think. And, uh, oh, pansies. I love these because they press so well. Pansies. <clears throat> Don't they just? <laughs> now, where's some eyes? Mm. Yes, I'll use these. Zip. And neck. I'm not quite sure what these are called. I don't know what they're called. Is it lovely more, either? Love what? Oh, Debbie. sorry. I thought you were telling me the Debbie. name of the flower. <laughs> I, do, I, I don't know one flower from another. Do you know that? I don't I, no, no. Oh, 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 yeah, in I my know. garden. I saw these lovely leaves and I thought they could be a lovely flower and there were carrots. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. One more, one more, one more. There we are. 
No, it's not absolutely love. Like you said, it's not love. How, uh, you're a very clever lady, you really are. Now, now, would you come back in a moment or two and uh, do the marking yes. for me? Okay. Okay, so you just pop mm. over there. Now, I'm going to lie down while my friends here do all this. Now, could you go over there, uh, Michael? And uh, you've got one minute, 15 seconds, starting now. Okay, there you go. It's lovely, though. Uh, um, make a lovely Christmas gift for a friend. <laughs> or someone that's going away. <laughs> they can't travel enough of luggage. <laughs> You're a bit ambitious, aren't you there, Mark, with that red eye? <laughs> He's got a marigold for one eye and a daisy for another. <laughs> Whatever turns you on. <laughs> Nice for a fate, you know, Michael. Or at Christmas Bazaar. Oh, you're doing very well with those buttercups, dear. You love him. How's Yule going on? Never seen a nose like that before. He's got a purple nose. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, Jenny, come back, darling. Right here. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Now then. <laughs> now, can we get this? Now then, what about that? You see, well, why is it that the other people have that, uh, you know... A red nose. I don't know. <laughs> it's well, the what, what, what is that, anyway? Well, that's a little bit of a dried plant, I think. Oh, is it? Well, he's got the right shape, hasn't he? He's got a green mouth, I see, and honesty for eyes. Yes. I think that's not bad. It's not bad? No. No, the first attempt is quite good. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Lovely. Yes. Now, what about to Debbie? Now, let's no, see. No, I keep saying, it's Maureen. Of course it is. That's unusual, isn't it? Well, yes, you could say that. Uh, <laughs> I think she'd been better off with this. Boy, his nose is upside down. Hey, you... pardon? We've I... got it where? Her well, nose is upside down and the eyes aren't quite straight, so I'm um, five out of ten. So five out of ten. Okay, mm. now what, what about um, Debbie? Well, I've Debbie, what are you doing here? It's <laughs> 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 like a mess. <laughs> it's what? A bird. A flock of birds. Oh. Trees. Branches, lots of stuff. Well, well it's anatomy. Well, what's this here? That's the neck. The neck of the bird? <laughs> I hope nobody opens the door and there's a draft because they'll all go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think because it's imaginative, we shall give her six out of ten. <coughs> yes. Good idea. The, the idea was good, yes. Okay, mm. now, now over to. Uh, ah. To my. Yes. Different coloured eyes. What people do. They, do. <laughs> they don't at all, Michael. You're just saying that to cover yourself. They don't have different coloured eyes at all, do they? No, <laughs> they? Do a they? Green mouth. Well, you would be on your father's side, wouldn't you? Seven out of ten, because you've you. vaguely you. got a shape there, haven't you? You're very kind. It's all right. Right? <laughs> so now they're all down here now. Could you come down here? Come on. Could you come down here? Jenny, that was absolutely lovely. It, no, just come here, come here, come here. It was absolutely lovely. It's terribly clever, and I tell you, I really am going to do to uh, try to do it myself. Why not? I will do, honestly. Good. Thank you for being on the show. Okay. It's been lovely meeting you. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. darling. Bye-bye. <laughs> It's Michael, Michael and Debbie Pusey, 20, Lawrence Reed and Maureen Grosso, 26. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, Okay, we have to go. So, sorry to lose you, haven't we? Yes, really? indeed we are. There you are, that's your tanker and that's your goblet. We have them all engraved for you later. Yes, thank, thank you. you very yeah, much. Okay, so you'll come with me this Lovely. way? Yes. Okay, off this way. Okay. <laughs> I see in our final game, we have Jean Legg and Michael Shakespeare uh, playing against Lawrence Reed and Maureen Grosso. Okay? And now we come to our playlet Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> Long ago lived Robin Hood, who robbed the bad to help the good. He avoided Will Scarlet whenever he could As the red outfit clashed with his green sleeve 
What a gay glaze. <laughs> Shut that drawbridge. <laughs> There's something wrong with my merry men. Merry they are not. Friar Tuck's tuckered. <laughs> much the miller's had too much. And little John's got his own problem. <laughs> but enough of this, for today I'm due to meet lovely maid Marion here in the heart of Sherwood, which reminds me I really should have washed my tights. <laughs> Maid Marion! Maid Marion! Hist! Hist! <laughs> it is Maid Marion, heavily disguised, I methinks. <laughs> because the sheriff must not know of this meeting. Come hither, sweet Maid Marion, and see what I have carved on the trysting tree. R.H. loves M.M. But how did you know that Rex Harrison loves Malcolm Muggery? <laughs> no, dear, you've got it wrong. It's Robin Hood, loves Maid Marian. Come to my arms. My heart is only for you. Mm. But what of the sheriff's men? Oh, I have no fear of them. Why, if I wasn't so breathless, riding through Sherwood today, I would blow a symphony of love upon my trusty horn. <laughs> but prithee, you can blow it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Will new faces ever come back? <laughs> come back, Eddie Calvert, all's forgiven. <laughs> recognize their pawn anywhere. And it has led me to the secret hiding place of Robin Hood. It's the sheriff. Oh, the sheriff? But surely the casting's all wrong. <laughs> he should be playing Robin Hood. It's funny you should say that. We are doomed. You're wrong. You forget. My merry men, Little John! You're completely surrounded! You're supposed to be merry, dear. <laughs> Cheer up! Run, John! Oh, they're going to fight! My goodness me! I'm mortally wounded. He's a strong little John, isn't he? <laughs> Fetch me my longbow. Thank you. Don't forget to write. <laughs> I shall shoot once more. And where this arrow falls, I want you to bury me. Shot. He shot an arrow as far as Paris. And when it fell, it hit Rolf Harris. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, Rolf. Thank you, for thank you for dropping in with your paint. Well, listen, I was painting your dressing room door puce, as you said, and this blasted arrow comes ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's strong, isn't it? Lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, Rolf Harris. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, my lovely darling, Fenella Fielding, is my maid, Marion. <laughs> and, of course, we could never forget wonderful Richard Green. Would you go over there and sit and do the marking for me? Right. That's lovely. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's marvellous. Okay, there you go. Bye. Thank you. Bye. We'll see you later. Now, heads or tails? Heads. Do you want to be first or second? 
first. OK, then, here we go. Isla, will you take these over here? And we, my room, and you come with me. OK, there we are. Right? Here we go. Out there you go. Right. And you go there. You go the other side, darling. You go there. It's all go, isn't it? <laughs> all the air's coming out. <laughs> and so, Robin Hood, part two. And now we've cast our play once more With Larry Grayson as before Vanilla Fielding has left the floor And that's probably why Richard Green leaves <laughs> The wicked King John has got Everard up in the Nottingham Castle, lying on the rack. <laughs> and that's stretching a good thing too far. <laughs> but enough of all this. I'm here today to meet my lovely Marion, my sweet Marion. I wonder where she could be. I should have washed my hair, really. Marion. Hist. Mar Hist. 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 Oh. <laughs> See, side specials here. <laughs> oh, Everly disguised at me thinks. Because the Sheriff of Nottingham must not know of this meeting. Ah, dear Marion, come hither and go over to the tree and see what I've carved for you. Oh, sorry, girl. <laughs> H loves M M Robin. Who told you that Russell Harty loves Monty Modlin? <laughs> Russell Harty loves Monty Modlin. You should have had your glasses on. <laughs> no, what it says, dear, it said. Maid Marion loves Robin Hood. Come into my arms. My love is only for you. Oh. But what of the sheriff's men? Fear not. Why, if I wasn't so breathless through riding through Sherwood all day, I would blow you a love symphony upon my horn. But, verily, you can blow it for me. <laughs> <laughs> could be here for two weeks. <laughs> That's it. I'd recognise that horn anywhere. And that it has led me to the secret hideaway of Robin Hood. Oh. But what of the sheriff's men? Fear not. I've said that. What about this? <laughs> Try this. <laughs> No, you, you've forgotten one thing. <laughs> you've forgotten one thing, my merry men. Friar Tuck. <laughs> oh, what a frantic friar. <laughs> oh, I'm mortally wounded. Fetch me my longbow. Fetch my <laughs> I shall shoot once more. And where this arrow falls, I shall be buried. Good shot. He shot an arrow from his bike. It fell to earth in Magnus Pike. <laughs> I want to get to the bloody arrow. Yeah. <laughs> you could fire it spinning, you know, the Magnus effect would come yes. out and it would go round. Oh, the yeah, corner. yes. <laughs> not me, this wasn't my magnet. No, yes. it's not into it. It was a fellow in, in, in Germany about 100 years ago. It's the same way you know when you slice a golf ball and it's going round and it goes. Magnus Pike, 
Pike. Magnus Pike, thank you very much. Is it for Magnus Pike, ladies and gentlemen? A great friend of mine. Thank you. And for, uh, for, G for Jean and Michael. Can you sit over there now? Can you sit over there? OK. And now for Robin Hood, number three. <laughs> King John has got Everard off the rack and now he looks like Slack Alice. <laughs> but enough of all that. I'm here today in Sherwood to meet my darling Maid Marian. Hist, hist. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my lovely Maid Marian. Heavily disguised, I think, because the sheriff must not know of this meeting. Go to the tree over there, dear, and see what I've carved on the bark. R.H. loves M.M. But Robin who told you that Rolf Harris loves Millicent Martin. <laughs> Rolf Harris loves Millicent Martin? Who's been talking? <laughs> no, it means Robin Hood loves Maid Marian. Come into my arms. My heart is only for you. But what of the sheriff's men? Fear not. If I wasn't so breathless through, through riding through Sherwood today, I would blow you a simile of love upon my trusty horn. But, prithee, you can blow it for me. <laughs> okay, I wonder what Alan Eagle's doing. <laughs> Have you got a record? <laughs> Aha! <laughs> Somebody's gone wrong. <laughs> this is Nottingham City, not Dodge City. <laughs> What are the sheriff's men? <laughs> well, what about them? <laughs> well, yeah. What do you do? I said, what are the sheriff's men? He said, I don't know. <laughs> what do do Have no fear. Have no fear. <laughs> it's the sheriff of Nottingham. Eh? It's the sheriff of Nottingham. We're doomed. Eh? We're, We're doomed. We're doomed? We are doomed with him. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> you read the horn. <laughs> I'd recognise that horn anywhere, and it has used. Oh, it had. <laughs> no, no, don't worry. No, we shall do it. <laughs> it has. What's that? What? I don't know. <laughs> it has led me to the secret hideaway of Robin Hood. Yes, it's led me to the secret hideaway of Robin Hood. Now then. It's, it's the Sheriff of Nottingham. We're doomed. You've already said that. <laughs> this is where I came in. <laughs> Never mind, don't worry. Don't worry. Will Scarlet. Will's it you're missing. Will Scarlet. <laughs> it looks more it looks more like Scarlet O'Hara. <laughs> I'm mortally undone for the third time tonight. <laughs> oh, oh, come over here and help me. Oh, no, 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 that's it, that's it. I'm, I'm supposed to be a dying man. <laughs> go, no, not too far back, dear. No, no. <laughs> so I've got a stocking on. Well, go. <laughs> go and get my long bow for me. Get the long, get the long bow. No, no, that's not the, the long bow. That's it. Those trousers suit you. I should get a pair of them. <laughs> 
I'd be lovely for the sounds at Skegness. Now, where... Oh, I've got the wrong end, of course. <laughs> now then, every man for himself. Now, where this... I have a terrible job with this. Now, where this... Uh, where this arrow falls, I shall be buried. <laughs> he shot an arrow, it flew an acre. He shot it. <laughs> it fell to earth in Hilda Baker. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, leisure, of course, you know it is Miss Hilda Baker. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Johnny Vivian. Johnny Vivian, thank you very much. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you. Okay, over here, Johnny. There we are. That's lovely. And now, could I have my lovely Fenella and Richard back, please, for the marking? There we are. You know, we thought you were wonderful, and we decided Terrific. we ought to give you... <laughs> well, four, darling, four. I thought, I thought... Because you were really good. Out of 20. <laughs> well, we talked it over and we decided, didn't we? Yes. That, um, this lovely couple here, um, got 17. 17, 17. right. You were so splendid. Out of 20. 17 out of 20. And, and Jean and, and Michael... Got... Eighteen. Eighteen. Now. Eighteen. Now. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now let me let me look at the scoreboard, and it says the score is uh, Jean and Michael eighteen, Lawrence and Maureen seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Fenella, being in. I hope you've had a lovely time. Oh, Larry, it was simply lovely. Mm, bless you. And thank you very much, Richard. I've always wanted to meet you, and at long last I have done. Larry, I've loved being with you. That's lovely. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Fenella Fielding and Richard Green. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> thank you very much. OK. Now, here we are now. And now there's uh, uh, June... Gene and Michael, and Lawrence and Debbie. Maureen. <laughs> you, see, I, I, you see, I'm getting tired. And here we are. I'm afraid we have to say goodbye to you, but here's your presence. Well, Maureen, you've done, I think you were just great. I couldn't believe it when I saw you. I loved you as the, as the sheriff of Dodge City. I don't think I shall ever forget it. Oh, so young, gosh. Yeah. Well, there's your tankard, and a goblet for you. And I have all of these engraved. You. And you also have a pen. Uh, by a well-known brand, <laughs> <laughs> you had and a writing case to go with it. Can you oh, handle all this? Thank you Gosh. Very much. And this is a, a jewellery box, and it's got another box inside it because I looked. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. Lovely having you on the show. <laughs> throw, throw your foot fingers down there. That's okay. That's fine. And now we come to the. Um, we come to the, the questions now. If you can just get together here like that. Okay? All right? No, no, no they, they, want, they want to see me as well. Oh, sorry! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay. Now you've got to get two, uh, two out of three of these questions. Right? Uh -huh. You must always wear blue, remember? <laughs> here we are now then. First question In which currency is the yen the national currency? Yeah. Pardon? Japan. Right, one. Two, who wrote the James Bond books? Ian Fleming. Two, well, that's it. There you are. <laughs> oh, that's, that's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And this is to pack up all your troubles. <laughs> lovely. Lovely to meet you. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. Lovely. Absolutely okay, lovely. Okay. Now then. <laughs> Now, you know what happens here, of course. Now, are you, are you all settled and ready? Right, well, now, open the doors. Oh, dear. <laughs> Close them again. 
Looks just like Jaws. <laughs> OK, open them again now. OK, here we go. You're nicely settled. Now, the thing is, you must remember, OK? Here we go, then, Gene. The best of luck. Right? And on the conveyor belt tonight, a bread grock, a garden trog and tools, a whiskey barrel, a cuddly corgi dog, a ginger jar, a table lamp, an instamatic camera, a picnic flask, a backgammon set, an electric wall clock, a basket of food, a food mixer, a set of crystal cherry glasses, some heated hair rollers, a stainless steel carving set, an electronic cooking pot, a side table with some fallen flowers, table mats, a set of towels, a garden chair wobbling about, and a leather travelling rug. OK, there we go. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are, darling. Over there you go. Got some lovely things there for you. I think it's time. Now, you must remember, there you are, up the steps there. That's lovely. Right. Are you nice and settled now? Yes. OK, now you have 40 seconds, starting 45 seconds. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'm not going to spit. 45 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> starting now, OK? A bread crock, a bread basket, plant, mixer, food hamper, yeah. glasses, hair curlers, a thermos flask yeah. thing, and uh, a big dog toy, and the table. Uh, the table, table, deck chair, chair, chair. Uh, curlers. Cur I've said the curlers. Oh, yeah, you've gone there. And the luggage, and... Uh, the lamp, the lamp, yeah, yeah, and uh, the stainless steel carver, yeah. Yeah. Uh, camera, 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 camera. whiskey. Don't forget the whiskey. Yeah, <laughs> and a whiskey jar, electric clock, electric. yeah, the food. jar. The food. Yes, the food. yes, I said the food. Yes, yes, but leather bag. Yes. Okay. Okay. What a love you've got.